evolutionary biology really begins as a discipline with Darwin. So Darwin's theory of natural selection uh, really starts out the whole field of evolutionary biology. My own research is, is rooted in evolutionary biology. The work that I do focuses on the uh, taxonomy, ecology, uh, and population genetics of sedges, of oaks, of elm trees, and the questions that we answer, uh, that we address, where we're trying to understand wh what, are the, what are the limits of species, what are the limits of populations, how do genes move between populations, how do populations maintain their adaptive potential over time so that they can evolve in response to cha changing environments. None of this would make any sense without evolutionary biology as the underpinning. Now, are Darwin's ideas still relevant today? Absolutely. Any evolutionary biologist can sit down and read The Origin of Species productively. It's a, still a wonderful book, despite, at the time, the fa despite the fact that at the time that Darwin wrote it, there were a lot of gaps in the fossil record that don't exist any longer. We filled in most of those important gaps that troubled Darwin. Despite that fact, Darwin's uh, conclusions in The Origin of Species are spot on. He made contributions in biogeography. He made contributions in systematics or taxonomy. He made contributions in ecology. And he basically founded the field of evolutionary biology. So he's completely relevant today.